All right. So because I believe in full transparency, a lot of people will know that legacy is not one of the things on the normal schedule on the docket here. So um, I actually added this to the website recently because I didn't have it up there. If you're interested in seeing me play legacy, modern, pauper, any of those formats that I don't normally have on my deck submission form is a $100 minimum donation to get that format played on stream. So as with most things in life, there's always a price. That's the price to have it happen here. So we're actually going to be starting with Legacy today and tomorrow. We had two two Legacy submissions when that got brought up last time on stream. Hey, Cassie, thanks for the 10 months of support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for, thanks for keeping me around. Today, I'm actually kind of interested to play this deck. It's been a hot second since I dove into Legacy. And gosh, does it look like the landscape's changed a good bit. So this is called Tess, and Tess is short for the Epic Storm. Hey, Rhino, thanks for the 12 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Get you a sword to go with that shield. Um, and the Epic Storm is a multicolored storm deck that traditionally speaking has been differentiated from Ant, which stands for Ad Nauseam Tendrils, by the use of Chrome Mox, Burning Wish, and Right of Flame. Once upon a time, this archetype also played for Infernal Tutor in the main deck, but the latest innovation from people that have been working on this archetype is playing Wishclaw Talisman in the main, which gives the archetype enough artifacts to gain access to Mox Opal as an additional source of free mana. They're also leveraging Echo of the Eon Seer as a way to refill their hand back up because the flashback aspect of this card works really well with Lion's Eye Diamond because Lion's Eye Diamond makes you discard your hand to get three mana. To bin this, you can then... So you can then flash it back. Yeah, this is this this deck is often defined by winning slightly faster than traditional storm than or than ad nauseum tendrils. However, the use of defense grids and veil of summer in the main deck here makes me imagine that this configuration is probably a little bit more resilient to disruption and winning on turns two and three than past versions of tests tests have been, just because it's a little bit more interaction than they once played. It's interesting to see. To me, especially looking at this, that this build is notably not playing any copies of uh, Duress or Cabal Therapy or Thought Seize or anything like that, which are cards that Storm has traditionally played in the past. Mafia, thanks for the six months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Coco Bay, thanks for the two months. Good morning, folks. Happy Monday. Hope everybody's end of year is going swell. So it's been a hot second since I played some Legacy. It's been a hot second. Since uh, I've played some Storm, so there's going to be a little bit of fumbling going on in our first couple of matches, but we are going to play all five and hopefully have a good time. For people that are completely not familiar with Legacy Storm, the way this deck actually wins is by generating a bunch of mana with cards like Dark Ritual, Rite Rit of Flame, and these various uh, artifact sources of mana. And then you use this card Burning Wish to fetch our actual win condition out of the sideboard, which is generally Tendrils of Agony, which has the Storm mechanics that says you copy this spell for each card played before it in a turn, and they lose two life for every, every spell you've played. You also have Empty the Warrens as an alternative win condition. Thankfully, the person who sent me this deck, deck submitted it with a uh, sideboard guide, so I won't be fumbling too much when it comes to sideboarding. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. Morning, Jackal Girl. We're playing Legacy and it's not Char Belcher assured 05 drop assure 05. I mean to be fair, we're usually 05 with Belcher too. Thanks for the 10 months nebbed. Welcome back. A non-Oko legacy list. Yeah, Oko, I was looking, I was looking over some random legacy results last night. It looked like a lot of people had been jamming Okos everywhere. I'm playing the Cloud Post deck that Manguchi made a video about recently. It's fun casting Emrakul against Blue decks. I believe that. Um, this hand's kind of absurd, right? 
we're, de we're definitely keeping, but what are we doing? Um, so... I could even... I could YOLO a turn one here, right? So I can go... LED, LED, Rite of Flame, cast Burning Wish off Rite of Flame, and then use these LEDs to make up to six mana. <clears throat> so this is one, two, three, four, I could empty, I could also just echo. I could echo with three floating and just give them a random hand. I don't I don't think I have a turn one kill, right? Is it silly to just echo on one? I don't I don't know if it's correct to echo on one or not. Crack one in response to Burning Wish and use the other. Crack one in response to Burning Wish to use the other to discard Eons. Yeah, it's like it's a force mulligan for them, and like I have a land in play. I think I think we just yellow this. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if it's right, but it's definitely sweet. Alright, I mean I'm into this deck. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this deck is good, but I'm into it. Wob Jack, thanks for the half a year of support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. And I can actually wait to see if this resolves before I crack the LEDs, right? Because I'm getting Echo anyways. I make, I make black mana, right? I make black mana. And then I think I cast Echo using, leaving one blue floating. All right, so we don't have anything going on in our new hand, but we gave them a random seven and I'm up a, I'm up a land here and I get to ponder. Maybe I should have left two blue up and one black. It's very possible that I. Any order though, shuffle. Go. <laughs> I don't know if that was right, but it was definitely fun. I don't, I don't know if that was right, but it was definitely fun. Yeah, big up, big agree, Gorks. Ten out of ten out of ten. That set yesterday was uh was really good. Wow, hello there. Welcome back. Sorry, I was I was drawing a lot of cards. I apologize. I think we start with the brainstorm. Hope to find a fetch land. Sweet. We found a fetch land. So we're going to throw back a... Probably a chain of vapor, right? I don't know that I need that card. And throw back an extra Mox Opal here. I guess Mox Opal is kind of like Lotus Petal. Probably don't need multiple Chrome Moxes. Underground C and cast Ponder. Ooh, that's an add Uh, I think I'm in for these, right? And I'm going to stack it so we draw the pedal.
Think I just pass? Think I just pass? Because I want to play the artifacts next turn for storm count. Yeah, next turn I have three, four, five, six mana. You got a Dreadhorde Arcanus. Look at that. Look at that. One, three. So they need double force or force plus days. Mm, even force plus days doesn't do it, right? Because I have three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we'll go this. We'll go Chrome Mox and Print Veil. And the reason why it's correct to imprint Veil here is I want to be able to pay for a Daze and Veil a Force. So we'll imprint that. We'll go Lotus Petal. We'll go Mox Opal. And then to be able to pay for Daze here, I'll float a mana off this Mox Opal and play the next one. All right, so either them not have another force here. Should have left up red. Is leaving up red better than leaving up? Oh, I should have left up the Mox Opal, right? I should have left up the Rainbow Land. And that's not true, right? Because then I have to tap an artifact. Oh, I guess I could have left up Mox Opal and then I wouldn't have had to use Lotus Petal. And I've had Lotus Pet Petal available here. Yeah, so I should have I should have tapped this. All right, so now I get to draw some cards. So every card I draw, I lose life equal to its casting cost. Uh, the Tendrils is out of my deck, so everything costs two or less, right? Oh, there's an Echo of the Eons in my deck still. Okay, so that's a little scary. Okay, so now I could die. How much mana do I have? I only have, I only have four mana. I need six mana, right? So I need to keep going for another Dark Ritual. All right, LED is good. So they're dead. Storm is eight. Storm is nine. Cast my Dark Ritual. It was it was a little close there for a second. All right, cast this off of this in a black while holding control to retain priority. Crack this for black mana. Grab Tendrils of Agony out of the sideboard. Look at that. We're such a powerful wizard, chat. Did the, did the thing. Good clean turn three kill. Do I assume the opponent's playing Delver? I believe I believe Dreadhorde Arcanus is Delver, right? According to my sideboard, according to the sideboard guide I've been given, I am not supposed to board anything against Delver. We're pre-boarded against Delver, which is probably great. Which is which is probably excellent. Being pre-boarded against Delver is probably excellent. Submit. Um, this is fine, right? 
Nothing, nothing to write home about, but seems keepable. Lack of 2019 magic cards. Leyline of the Void. That stops Echo of the Eons. Is that it? It's no oops all spells, but I'll allow it, right? Yep, yeah, yes it does, uh, Geodude. In fact, if you look, you are the Just Guy Control deck, right? It's already already been added to the deck cube. Yikes. Um... All right, let's try game three on the play. Let's try it. Let's try game three on the play, shall we? <laughs> All right. If they have Null Rod, am I supposed to board in this Abrupt Decay? I don't know if I want some of these cards, if they're going to have Null Rod. Do I like trim defense grade? I don't know that I want crash necessarily in this matchup. I think this is too narrow. I think I, I think this is more for the prison matchup. Like there's a good chance like that null rod's like a one or two of at most in my opponent's sideboard. Well, Wish only gets sorceries. So Wish does not get Wish does not get these cards. Hey, GMP. Thanks for the 28 months. Yeah, I think I'm gonna trim, I'm gonna trim these grids. And I'm gonna bring in uh, a chain and a decay. No, there's no restricted list in in Legacy that's vintage that has a restricted list. This deck just doesn't really want more than one of each duel. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. Hey, Jade Zet. Good morning. Leyline. Leyline's not too big of a deal. This doesn't impact a lot of our stuff. Leyline plus Null Rod is a bit much, though. Especially when I didn't bring in uh, ways to interact with Null Rod in the in the post board game. Yep. Is it crazy to just cycle this veil? There's no trop in here though, right? So if I want to cycle the veil, I can't brainstorm. Thanks for actually telling me what Ant stood for. I never figured that one out. Yeah, it's a weird definition, too, because, like, as the decks evolved, the names didn't really work as well. It's like, Ant is ad nauseum tendrils, but Tess tends to ad nauseum more often. In my, in my experience. Yeah, the mana base in here is, it's something. I think I want a brainstorm to start here. Abrupt Decay is not terrible. I feel like I'm just throwing these Moxen back. 
Yeah, Tess, Tess is the epic storm and it tends to use ad nausea more often. I think I throw these back and keep the mana because we're pretty likely to get wastelanded here, I think. I'll go ahead and crack this and grab a UC and ponder. Yeah, these are these are great actually. So I think we go Chrome Mox back, LED back, pedal back, and say don't shuffle, draw the pedal. Next turn we'll draw LED, and then LED is I'll have three, four, five, six. LED is seven, eight, nine, which lets me wish claw, activate claw. Um, cast Veil, cast Ad Nauseam. They can just do it all. Right? So I'll have three, four, five, six, and then, yeah, seven, eight, nine. This is eight, it's eight to Wish Claw plus Tendrils. Hey, morning, Ari. Thanks for the four months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, they have a lot of permanent base hate. Thanks, Neo. I appreciate you keeping me around. Yeah, they, they have a lot of permanent base hate here. I think I'm just supposed to pass here. I think I'm supposed to pass and end step abrupt decay this. I should stop and figure out if I have lethal. So if I, if I decay this, I have, so I have nine mana total right now. If I decay this, I have seven. Wish Claw is three, which leaves me with four. So I could Burning Wish and then not do anything with it. I could Burning Wish and then Grape Shot, which doesn't really accomplish anything. So I'd only cast one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spells. Yeah, I think, I think I just have to pass here. Opponents draw very close to one of their best possible here. If they have a counter spell in their hand, it's definitely their best possible. They'd like turn one Delver, turn two flip Delver, plus play a second base of permanent base tape. Sure. So I have nine mana total. I probably need to Veil of Summer. So this is four. I'm one I'm one mana short, right? Because if I if I'm one mana short if I bail of summer. So wish claw is three. I could get burning wish is five, and then I can grab tendrils and kill them, I believe. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's three, four, five, six. So I can't, I can't veil here. So I could, 
I could beat a daze. Is that is that enough spells? Because this is two spells. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's only uh that's only a tendrils for that's only a tendrils for seven, right? So it's not even lethal. Uh, can you please submit using the form quirks? I, I could try an ad nauseum. The problem with ad nauseuming is that I'm at 10 life. But if I'm not, if I'm not deterministic and I'm losing this game anyways, it's probably better to just ad nauseum, right? And just like YOLO it and try and hit a bunch of LEDs and burning wishes. That's probably the line here. I could also make 14 goblins. I feel like I'm supposed to YOLO the ad nauseum here. Is there one out there is like a really good storm player and they told me that that's wrong? I don't know. We're just under like infinite pressure here. And like I can, I can ad nauseum and um, still, still veil. Right? Yeah, deck was really sweet, Gully. Yeah, we just chrome mox no imprint. And then I just cast Veil of Summer, right? I still have plenty of mana. I have one to pay for this and then five for the Ad Nauseum. So, Ad Nauseum with no mana floating at 10 life is not super likely to be a win here, but YOLO. Wow, those are, those are really good hits to start. Are they dead? So this is one two, three, four mana. I need two more pieces of mana, right? So Dark Ritual does it. <laughs> what? Okay, all right, all right. Do I need Do I need a spell to imprint, imprint on the Chrome Mox, right? I just need any spell to imprint on the Chrome Mox. So this is, because I need, uh, this is, because I need mana from this, right? Because right now I have one, two, three, four, five, and I need six. We just need any spell. Don't echo. No whammy, no whammy. No whammy, no whammy. Yeah, Lotus Petal does it, right? This is deterministic. So this is uh, one mana, two mana, three mana, four, five, six, Burning Wish for Tendrils kill you. Well, this this adds one mana. Oh, I didn't play a land yet either. Oh, I didn't play a land yet either. Yeah, that's super right. Someone had mentioned that too and I ignored them. Someone had mentioned that too and I ignored them. Sick. Sick. All right. I'm in love, chat. I'm in love. I love cheese, and this cheese doesn't seems like it doesn't suck, which is weird. Normally, cheese decks suck. Hey, hey, Cole Puck. Thanks for the 12 months. Remember when Standard was good? Pepperidge Farm remembers. It's been a long time. It's been, it's been a long time. Storm counts 12. Nice Delver deck. Nice permanent base disruption. Blurga, blurga. Nice counter spells. Get my tendrils, cast my tendrils. Trigger. What if they stifle us? What if they stifle us? Oh no, I just made fun of them. They're totally about to stifle us. Oh no, oh no, please don't stifle me. Please don't stifle me. <laughs> Legacy is a silly place, chat. No, we had, we had, uh, we had resolved Vela Summer. We resolve, we resolve Vela Summer. <laughs> Woo! Alrighty. 
There's a storm of brewing, chat. There's a storm of brewing. You're in your own head, Hoagland, right? Gosh, this card is messed up, huh? This card, this card's kind of, kind of messed up. Yeah, I'm aware. Stifle, Stifle could have won the game there. Green Cryptic Command's a great card. It really is. I'm, I'm aware how Chrome Mox works. Um... I think this is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Okay, yep. Primal Command is in the corner with a scotch giving Veil dirty looks. Oh, Primal. Um. All right, so I think the plan here is actually grab this Brainstorm and we can brainstorm the Ad Nauseum to the top of our deck and then we can ponder, and in response to the ponder, crack Lion's Eye Diamond. So I believe this sets us up to Ad Nauseum next turn, right? Because we can brainstorm Ad Nauseum to the top, cast Ponder, crack LED in response to the ponder for mana. Go. So... Potential turn two here if they don't have a counter spell. <clears throat> oh no! Oh no! I feel so violated, chat. They know—they know, they know all of my secrets. They know—they know all of my secrets. The—the the jig is up. The jig is up, chat. Imagine if that card was free, <laughs> right? All right. Well, ain't nobody got time to play around to force a will. They shuffled with the ponder. Do I go for it? Because it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like we're going to go for it this turn, right? Based on our hand. I, I'm going to YOLO it. I'm going to YOLO it. Strap in, chat. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling that's a burning wish. Well, golly, um, yeah, it's the third, the third LED in a burning wish. God, what am I even supposed to do here? I don't, I don't even know. So now, now I can go put back Ad Nauseum, put back Ponder. And then if they counter the Burning Wish, I can, if they counter the Burning Wish, I could do what I wanted to do next turn. So that's, that's the plan. So now we go Storm is five. So now we have a plan that they have a counter spell. And we're casting this with no imprint here. So Storm is seven. This will be eight. So Tendrils, Tendrils is lethal here, right? Because this is eight and they're at 18. So we do this, crack this for black. Woohoo! 
Yo, love swagons. Got him. Good, good, clean turn two. All right, what are we doing? Um, so they're on, are they on? I don't know if they're a control deck or a Delver deck. Storm deck problems. We killed them on turn two, so we're unsure what deck they're playing. We killed them on turn two, so we're unsure what deck they're playing. I just don't board. If they're a control deck, the sideboard guide says to board in Hope and Decay. I think Peak indicates Miracles. Yeah, I think I think Vista and Peak indicate Control. I thought Neo Brand was the most love I could feel for a deck I was wrong. Yeah, this one, this deck is something else. This is, I've played Tess before and it never felt, it just felt just okay. Like Echo and Veil kind of feel like they took this deck and kicked it into overdrive. Being being able to play Mox Opal 2, having more free mana is really messed up. I was thinking about just like skipping all of the legacy all of the legacy NRG tournaments next year, but I might try and find a copy of this to play at them if this ends up being fun. I'm gonna board like they're a control deck. When you, when you look at your no-lander and you're just like, yep, snap it off. Feels legacy, man. Feels legacy. Look at the no-lander, you're just like, cause it's a sneepa keepa do 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 sneepa pa keepa pa do 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 So we go pedal, pedal, opal, hope. We actually have enough mana to YOLO a turn one here. I don't think I'm supposed to though. I think, I think I'm just supposed to hope and pass. Are we supposed to just try and turn one them? I don't know, I've got both these hopes in my hand, right? There's no reason to YOLO, right? The fact, the reason to YOLO is I've used my storm count. So like, I have three, four, five, six, seven mana. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't actually have lethal with tendrils. I was gonna cast the hope and pass. Pretty, pretty sure it's correct to cast hope and pass here. A yeah, nice, nice affinity start. Well, what's our what's our ideal draw next turn? Lion's Eye Diamond. Well, I can't. Even if I wanted to Yolo, I couldn't kill them. My wife put on Mamma Mia earlier this year and never watched it before. When the sun ca song came on, I started singing to the keeper part and she got annoyed with me. <laughs> I think I'm just supposed to pass here again, right? Can I get ad nauseum now? That's a good question, actually. If I can get ad nauseum, I should. Um... No, I can't because I can't get my hand empty, right? In order in order to tutor, I need an empty hand. So I have three, four, five, six, seven mana. And I can burning wish. But yeah, I can't I can't get my hand empty and cast tutor this turn, so I'm just gonna pass. 
That's fine. With hope, with hope in play, are you supposed to sack hope and play the other? Yes, actually, I think you're right. I think I was supposed to sack hope and play the other. It would keep them off playing permanent base disruption this turn. Most permanent base disruption. Excuse me? Excuse me? So I think I just cycle this bail, right? Which is why this card's extra messed up. Because I don't need its effect since I have Hope of the Gear Pier. God, Echo's a bad draw. I guess I could just cast Echo. I guess that's real. I could just YOLO this Echo. That would, Who wants to cast Wheel of Fortune? Chat, anybody in chat not want to cast Wheel of Fortune? Well, I got bad news. If you don't want to cast Wheel of Fortune, you're wrong. Of course we want a wheel. Of course we want a wheel. We could die next turn. We have to do it. Come on now. It's objectively correct to wheel here, okay? Spin to win. Spin to win. Wheel of Fortune! I love, I love drawing cards, chat. It's my favorite. All right, so Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Blue, Blue, Cast Wheel. It's right to go Blue, Blue, Cast Wheel here, right? That's correct. There's nothing better to Burning Wish for. Yeah, I think, it's, I think Wheel is correct. If two mana floating. Oh, and I can Wheel again later? That's so disgusting. All right, I assume they're dead here. Let's make mana and figure it out, but I assume they're dead. So five, six, seven, eight. Um, do I just, uh, do I just echo again here? Do I just wheel again? I think they, I think I just wheel again, huh? I could wish claw for ad nauseum. Do I wish claw for ad nauseum or do I wheel again? I can't, I don't have a tendrils in my main deck. I have eight mana total. So wish claw is three, burning wish is two. So I'm, I'm one mana short of claw for wish, wish for tendrils. The upside to wheel is wheel leaves me with a ton of floating mana. So I, I have played a land for the churn. Yeah, I think I claw then wheel because claw leaves me a tutor sitting in play, right? Yeah, so this is this is fine, right? Because I go opal, keep it, LED, wish claw for burning wish, burning wish, crack this, kill them. Okay, I think I think wheeling was right here. Like we got pretty unlucky with our wheel, and they're still just dead. <laughs> need to float mana with this before we do this good thing good thing you could control z cracking an led good thing good thing you could control z cracking an led <laughs> Whee! all right well you know undefeated legacy master
Remember, if you can't stay and watch all of this, it'll be up on YouTube later, just like everything else. This is, this is probably gonna be the deck of the day, even if we don't win another game. These first two matches have been quite silly. First two, first two matches have been quite silly. Was there a cut the line for this? Kind of. So formats like Legacy, Pauper, Modern, Vintage, formats that I don't normally play, I'll play for a $100 donation. Also good things to keep in mind if you're thinking about doing a big donation for an off format submission is that you also get to dictate what day it gets played on. So larger donations can have some flexibility about when their deck gets played. If people want to try and catch it live. I generally will play off format decks as the first deck of the day though, but you get, get flexibility to dictate which day it's the first deck of the day. So they actually changed it. So legacy leagues, Cost the same as modern leagues now. Um, this hand doesn't do anything, right? Like I can, I can Chrome Mox brainstorm and brainstorm, but like the rest of the hand's pretty bad. I don't, I don't think brainstorm's good enough to save this. Yeah, tomorrow's tomorrow's legacy deck's a brew. Blue blue black ninjas is tomorrow. Okay, so this is a keep. I think I'm going to throw back Burning Wish and a Veil here. And then we're going to hope to find an LED to wheel to get going again. Yeah, yeah, hopefully they thought Cecil Sun won. Let me just get to light, give him a giant middle finger. Do I pass here? I think I just pass, huh? Okay, so preordain implies we're playing a storm mirror, right? And I think in a storm mirror means I want to cycle this veil of summer at end of turn. Underground, underground C preordain implies they're playing ant, I believe. Doesn't veil stop them from killing us? It doesn't? Yeah, I think you're right, actually, doesn't it? Am I just supposed to hang tight then? Yeah, I think I think you're right. Good call. Yeah, tendrils doesn't usually play grape shot. Ant ant doesn't usually play grape shot. Especially, especially game one, Ant is usually all in on tendrils, which makes holding Veil super correct.
Yeah, yeah, Ant, Ant, generally speaking, does not play Burning Wish. Vale, Vale should just get them game one. At the very least, if it doesn't end the game on the spot, they should have blown a ton of resources to, to have to get got by it. Uh, this is match three. We are two and zero. Oh. Let's zoom here. So we don't have a fatal misclick. So next turn. We grab LED and then um, play LED, crack LED wheel. And gas up. Yeah, there's still a non-zero chance they could be a fair deck. Some, some ant decks play Thoughtseize though, I thought. I thought I thought they stopped playing Cabal Therapy when I thought they stopped playing Cabal Therapy when um Cataxium Probe got banned. But it's been it's been a while since I played Legacy, so if someone told me that's not true, I'd believe them. Alright, do I fetch before? Probably not, because I want to be able to clear that with Brainstorm. Would I rather have blue floating or red? I think I'd rather have a blue floating, huh? Wheel of Fortune! Da, 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 ba, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Please don't spell pierce me now. Don't you cast a fluster storm. Do, 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 do. Beep, 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 beep. Sure, you have Veil of Summer. Okay, so this is a storm mirror. This is, in fact, a storm mirror. Okay, so can I generate enough storm count to kill them with... Can I generate enough storm count to kill them with, um, Grape Shot? Because they have Hexproof from Black. Alright, so I'm going to Brainstorm to start. Because I have two cards that are bad here and I have a ton of mana. I have a Fetch Land that I can use to shuffle. So Defense Grade doesn't do anything. So we'll throw these back. So I can go pedal. So I need I need 17 storm count. Oh I could I could empty hold up veil. Do I have enough banner to do that without cracking the LED? I might. I could empty hold up Veil. That's very true. I think I have enough for that. I could also just wheel again. Is that crazy? So I have I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I could wheel again. I'm also at 17 and could just add nauseum. It's probably right to add nauseum, right? I've only burned one LED. If we add nauseum, I could probably kill them with, uh, I could probably kill them with grape shot. Like I'm gonna get to add, add nauseum with mana floating.
Am I supposed to fetch before I add nausea? Oh, my six dropped out of my deck too, right? Because we drew our echo naturally. So everything in my deck costs two or less right now. Am I supposed to fetch? Because I could draw all my lands, right? I only have two mana producing lands left in my deck. I think, I think I'm supposed to fetch even though it costs me a life. So there's only two mana producing lands in my deck. start it's a great start less good great that's a burning wish all right so we just need we just need to get lethal storm at this point chrome mox is great we're just looking for mox at this point perfect led all right they should they should be dinner i believe we're going to kill them with grape shot this turn at most i can take two from this i'm just going to keep going until we're lower than that all right, sweet. So I'm going to say no. So we go LED, LED, Chrome Mox, and eventually we're going to cast a Burning Wish and kill them with Grape Shot. Not, not gonna lie, this is the most fun I've had playing Magic in a while. <laughs> I'm also a terrible human being, but this is the most fun I've had playing Magic in a while. That one. Grape shot you. Ant, minus two defense grid, minus chain of vapor, plus two hope, plus a ritual of flame. Storm is a mistake, but it's a fun mistake. It really is. It's impressive how much better this archetype feels with the extra mocks in it. Weird. Weird, the deck feels better with more free mana. Ant stands for Ad Nauseam Tendrils. They are also a storm deck, but they play less free mana than this deck does. Yeah, sideboard guide is public. There's a, there's a sideboard guide I'm working off of. Dispersed me. Thanks for doling out some sub gifties. Hope you're having a wonderful end of your year. Happy Monday. <clears throat> yeah, it seems keepable. It's got plenty of mana. It's got a veil. The green-black deck we played yesterday was really fun, too, but it was fun in a very different way. Thanks, Dispersed. <laughs> oh, man. We're really good at this, huh? All right, so I'm doing this, and then the question is... I think I, I'm we're definitely pondering to start, right? So I can go UC, Ponder. We're looking for a wish, a wish at this point. Um, I think I want to wait till next turn so I can go off with more mana. So this turn I have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if I wait, I have two more mana next turn plus a land drop. So I think I stacked this like this and I draw the Mox Opal and then I'm going to go ahead and play out 
I'm gonna I'm gonna burn some storm count here because I think when we go off we should be able to make up the storm count so that way I can hold up Veil of Summer this turn off the Mox Opal. So I think I play these out so I can pass with Veil up off the Mox Opal. We can't lose here. We need to prove our deck's the better storm deck, right? Well, that's just rude. This is this is why I notably left the Wish Claw on top of our deck. So there's there's a chance we kill them through this Thought Seize here. So if they take Dark Ritual, I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I guess I'm one short of Ad Nauseaming, huh? Is that is that true? I'm one short of ad nauseum. Yeah, because it's it's eight to claw for ad nauseum. Mmm, I could wheel. Is wheeling good enough here though? I'm gonna wheel with only one mana floating. I think I just wait and ad nauseum. Because, like, they're, they only have three cards in their hand. When I aggressively wheeled last game, they had six cards and I had zero. So I think it's less correct. I think it's just Claw Pass here. I think it's less correct to wheel because of the volume of resources they currently have. Hey, Sinbar, thank you for the entire year of support. Let's make sure you have a sword to go with that shield. Thanks for keeping me around. Now, I do unfortunately have a blank on top of my deck at the moment, which sucks. If they have another Fluster Storm, we could be in trouble. Uh, hovering over cards does not work on Magic the Gathering Online. One of the many reasons why this application is less accessible. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can actually pay for a fluster storm here, right? I can add Dawsium and pay for fluster storm because fluster storm is only spell pierce, so I haven't cast another spell yet this turn. Oh, I'm gonna cast the box opal. Never mind, I'm dumb. Yeah, so fluster storm gets us. Oh, I forgot to crack. Oh, I'm super dumb. Fuck me. Well, I mean, you know, we're up a game. That's my first big mistake. This is this is not just Black Lotus. We're probably dead here because of that. I apologize. Spooky, spooky moblin. Thanks for the brand new prime support. Welcome to Hoglandia. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna concede and go to the next game. So if assuming they don't have Fluster Storm, assuming they don't have Fluster Storm, we probably win there. It's not. I'm fine. I I'm I'm relatively happy that that's the first mistake we've made in three three matches. Pretty pretty big mistake there. Obviously, so for those that aren't following what I'm doing, Lion's Eye Diamond makes us discard our hand to make mana with it. So I needed to put the Mox Opal into play and crack Lion's Eye Diamond in response to activating Wish Claw, so that way I had enough mana to cast the Ad Nauseum. Because I failed to do that, I couldn't cast the spell and I couldn't win the game. I think I keep this against Ant. Their deck's not always super quick. They have discard spells and stuff. I was. I was like, I'm enjoying myself. I'm like trying to talk through. I haven't played that like, this is the first time I've played Legacy or Storm in general in probably a year or more. For Storm especially. Probably played Legacy in the last year, but it's just tough. Hey, appreciate it, Moblin. Those, uh, those Prime subs help keep me employed here, so thanks for keeping me around. All right, so I can draw just two of these cards if I want. Recall is not legal in Legacy. Power 9 are, are, are only legal in Vintage, and they're restricted there. I could just shuffle this 
I could just shuffle this and like try and find an LED to echo. Hope, hope your 2020, hope your 2020 is a bit better, Hobart. I think I'm going to shuffle this. Boo. The downside to shuffling here is if they have thought sees, they thought sees my brainstorm, the rest of my hand doesn't really do anything unless I draw an LED. Well, you know, YOLO Swaggins! Those of you taking notes at home that are aspiring Storm players, you'll note that we very cleverly left the best card on top of our deck so that way our opponent could not take it away from us. Wheel of Fortune! All right, so the rest of this, this hand's not particularly good. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Thanks for the absurd tip, I appreciate it. Uh-oh, $100 in a deck link. What's this one? For Kesis Ramp, thank you. We will, we will start the standard portion with that today. So I'm supposed to start by brainstorming, right? We'll see where we go from there. Well, there's the burning wish. The burning wish has got to be lethal, right? Burning, burning wish has got to be lethal. <laughs> squishy. Oh, squishy. All right, so I throw back the land and the hope, I believe. And then we go crow. I, I just, I just assume we have enough mana here. And we put, we put back land hope. We go crow mox imprint veil. Do I even need to imprint veil? They don't have they, their deck doesn't play force of will, right? Is there any reason to play around force? Can, can I play around force? Is a question. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. I can actually play around. I can actually play around force and mind like break, break trap here, right? I have enough mana, so I can just imprint nothing on these chrome boxes, and then just to, just to double count again, I have one floating. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five, six, seven. This is eight, nine. Sorry, it doesn't stop Mind Break Trap. I can beat Force of Will, though. Should their, should their Storm deck have Force of Will in it, I can beat Force of Will here. So, if I couldn't play around Force of Will, I wouldn't here. It's obviously right to just go for it, but I can play around it, so I should play around it. There's no, no reason not to. Don't forget to crack LED in response, yep. So there's a good chance we could have won this match there's a good chance we could have won this match 3-0 uh, if I hadn't uh, foobarred cracking my LED in the first one. 
here in the second game. Beep, 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 All right, all right, hold on. This deck has got me all hot and bothered. I need to take my sweater off. It's heating, heating up over here. Needed to, uh, needed to uh, let the, get out a little bit. Stretch, stretch out. Gu guaranteed 3-0. Easy game, easy life. What is love, baby? Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are, we are starting off, we are starting off great today. Easy, easy deck of the day. Good to have you here, French Red. Having, having a good old time. All right, now the, re the real trick is going to be convincing someone to hand me these $2,000 worth of cards for an NRG tournament. How do you earn the middle burrito emote? You have to cheer 1,000 bits. So the, the, center, the center of the burrito emote is, uh, is uh, locked behind a bit paywall. Is this deck eight grand? Is it really? It, God, legacy prices, man. How much are Lion's Eye Diamonds? Our Lion's Eye is like 500 bucks a pop. Love being here. Can't wait for a long decade of Pioneer Jank. Is there anything spicy involving Wrinkle and Questing Beast we can jam with my tier three? Yeah, yeah, if you want to see Soul Flare. We actually played Soul Flare once before and I'm happy to run that back. LEDs. LEDs are only 200 bucks. Come on now. That's so cheap. That's so cheap. Only 200 bucks. Kids, kids these days trying to tell me $200 LEDs are expensive. Back in my day. Back... Back in my day. Uh, this deck doesn't play Scalding Tarn. This is an easy any order shuffle. A bit upset that I'm paying more for Middle Burrito than I would have real. So you're not paying for the burrito emote. Remember, when you cheer bits, you can add a deck to the queue. You can bump a deck already in the queue. So you're you're paying for deck queue services, and you're getting the burrito center as a free bonus. So the the burrito center is actually free. I think I just jammed defense grid here, right? I think I just jammed defense grid. That sounds like some PR crap. <laughs> That's true. There's also there's also whale emotes to be had. Ice Fang Cuddle, sure. I was just I was just actually about to say, Marty, I added a golden a golden eat emote the other day for the 250k badge or the 25k badge. 
All right, so we start with the brainstorm here. And if we're, if we're really lucky, this brainstorm could end in us killing them. Although I suppose they can force through defense grid here, huh? Uh, you might need to refresh your chat, Koontz, if you don't see it. I added it last night. I just had to refresh my chat to get it. All right, how is how is this lethal? It doesn't look lethal. I think I'm just throwing a land back, and I think I'm throwing a ponder back, and then I'm cracking the fetch land casting wishclaw talisman. I think that's my plan. Because they, they can force a will here. Defense grid only makes them pay three more. Pedal to play around days. Yeah, that's probably a good call. Beating, beating days sounds good. Probably don't need the storm count. Uh, Maven, you should make sure to edit the deck list in a uh, log in so you can edit the deck list uh, as we go. And then you can just make edits between now and when we play it. You should drop me an email from the same email you donated for the deck list from to get it to get the new deck list in the queue. We'll probably probably get to that last modern deck next week or the week after. They forced pitching force here. That's really good for us. Hey, no scope. Thanks for the two months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Next turn is probably just ponder wish claw again. Is LED lethal this turn? I think I just wait, right? So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do, take this, take this, take this, draw that, and then I can play Veil here, or play Wishclaw, and next turn I can draw LED, and LED with Veil next turn should be lethal. So I'm gonna pass now, because I wanna draw the LED that's on top of my deck. Then, like, even if they have something like an Oko here to try and Oko my Wishclaw Talisman, I can Veil it in response. Oh, I actually can't because of Defense Grid. Awkward. So if they have Oko, I get punished here. Hopefully it's just like a Jace. Yeah, deal. All right, sweet. So they are likely very dead. Because I have defense grid in play. So they can't they can't cast spells this turn. Alright, is it it's best to add nauseum from here, right? That's that's the plan. It's best to add nauseum from here. I should crack this LED for black and then add nauseum. You have to be pretty unlucky to lose to not not win from here. I 
I don't I don't have anything that's deterministic, right? I have seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Yeah, I do I do have Echo left in my deck, which is a little concerning on the ad nauseum. I only have 10 mana though, so I can like Burning Wish for Tutor and then Tutor for Burning Wish and then cast Tendrils, but that's only one, two, three, four more Storm Counts, so that's not lethal. It's only a Tendrils for 14. Uh, I do not do deck queue stuff for gifted subs anymore. Just just bits and uh, bits and dollars. Yeah, I think, think it's just ad nauseum and hope to kill from there. And I think I'm supposed to fetch this because I could run out of mana producing lands when I add nauseum. So we get to flip cards off the top of our deck here and we lose life equal to their total converted mana cost. Wish Claw with double ritual should probably be good. Okay, so now I could theoretically die. So I have to figure out if I'm deterministic from here. So I have two right of flames. I have two right of flames. I have this. We should be deterministic from here, I think. I've got a lot of mana. So I get to go, uh, this is three, this is this is plus two mana, this is plus three mana, so this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have 16 mana. It's like act, actual infinite. It's kind of un. I've played this deck before. It's been a while. It's kind of unreal how much better this deck feels. And we we are we are running pretty well too. But even without running well, like the raw power level of what this deck is doing compared to how it felt in the past is kind of crazy with the new cards. Very Vivarius, thank you for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate that. Welcome to Hoglandia. Hope you're having a wonderful Monday wherever you're at in the world. Kill you. One of the people make the new test. It's so much stronger and harder than yeah. It's this is it's kind of wild, Vivarius. Like the deck was like okay before. Definitely like would win games, but like the power level of what this is doing with all these new cards just seems like it's on a whole other plane. All right, so they're playing control. So the control game plan, according to this board guide, is minus three right of flame, minus a chain of vapor. In three, hope of the gear appear and then abrupt decay. Easy, easy in, easy out. Evening Melodic. Veil vale could, could, could be a legacy ban. Stop it. Everything in this format is stupid. Don't, don't need to ban Veil vale of Summer. The only reason Veil vale of Summer is absurd in this format is because this format's been 90% blue for forever. This is, this is the board guide I'm working off of. I'll have that linked under the in the video description below this today. I 
Hey, awesome, Bavaris. Well, thanks for the clean sideboard guide. Uh, we're 2-0 in this league, 3-0 in this league. We're 3-0 in this league, up a game in the fourth one here. This hand's absurd. Because it's a sneeper, keeper, do 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 sneep up ba keep up ba do 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 If you're having trouble reading any of our cards on Magic Online, not only do we have the mouse over window, but remember the stream decker is available that shows all of my cards. I'll try and do my best to mouse over what my opponent's stuff does from time to time to make that a bit easier for folks. I think this is a part where we just like YOLO these wish claws, right? I have like a burning wish and now I have two claws. I think I want... Underground C plus Bayou here, so my Decay is castable. No, we're definitely not going to try and combo on two. They pretty likely have a counterspell, but I am going to jam Wishclaw because this should eat a counterspell if they have one. Now, I don't, I don't think there's any reason to be aggressive here. I think it's just like Wishclaw Go is super correct. This league been running longer than average. Uh not too much. It's running it's running about like a like a longer control deck, maybe. I'm taking a long time through the combo because I'm not particularly fast at it. Usually I allot an hour and 45 minutes per magic online deck. And we've currently been playing this deck for an hour and a half, and we're in match four, so. It's not it's not uncommon for a moto league to take two hours if I play all five matches. Yeah, Grey Merchant's going to be great. I plan I plan to play all five matches with this one. It's not going to get cut short. When people, when people do larger donations, I don't stop at the hour and 45 minutes. I play all five. Unless the deck's a total dumpster fire. But this, deck, this deck's explicitly not been a dumpster fire, so it's going to get all five. Gosh, do we wish claw? Do we wish claw for Veil of Summer and like try and kill them next turn? Oh, I don't have red mana, huh? I don't have red mana? So, I the LED isn't red mana for Burning Wish, though, chat. Because it makes me discard my hand. So the thought was, can I fetch... The, the question in my mind to articulate is, can I get Veil of Summer and still combo this turn? So I can I can definitely cast Ad Nauseam for you. Let's count my mana to start. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10. I have 11 mana total. Get plus cast Veil of Summer is 2 mana. That leaves me with 9. And then, so I can get Veil of Summer, cast Veil of Summer, and cast Ad Nauseam this turn with 1 mana floating. Uh, you could not punch worthy because I already have cards for Feather. And Feather got bumped out of yesterday's stream, so I'd prefer not to bump it today. So they have to have double force of will here. Double force, double blue card. If they have double force, double blue card, we'll go to game three where we're on the play. Uh, 
Uh, what, what color floating mana do I want? Is it blue or red? I probably want red so I can cast my... Oh, I boarded out my rights, right? Because this is a control matchup. Okay, so I definitely want to make... You think I just want more black mana? You think I need... Why do I need three black? Well, I'm only going to have one left floating anyways, right? I'm going to have seven and I'm spending six. It doesn't matter because I only have seven and I'm going to spend six. I want... I definitely want one black floating. So if they have another force here, I'm going to concede. I think it's right to make them have it. Hey, Swag. Thanks for the biddies. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. This has not been a great ad nauseum so far. This is probably going to be one where I have to hope to just not hit the six mana spell. So I need six mana total so I can Burning Wish plus cast Tendrils. So I have one, two, three, four. So I need to find two mana. Oh, I've not played a land yet. Oh, I've not played a land yet. So I only need one more mana. Does that do it? I think that does it, right? Because I have one, I have one, I have one mana floating, and then this is two, three, four, five, six. Burning Wish Tendrils kill you. I'm gonna keep drawing cards because I'm not dead. I'm just gonna draw cards until I'm in danger of dying. Okay. Alright. Alright. So we hit we hit the echo. We're done. We drew a couple of LEDs in the way, so we're, we're definitely, we're way past deterministic at this point. Infinitely, infinitely past deterministic. We were never in any danger, chat. I was watching my life total, and at no point, at no point was I going to die when I clicked draw a card. At no, at no point was I in danger of dying when I drew a card there. I would just like the record to reflect that I was watching my life total and knew what I was clicking. Get gut shotted. All right, if we get gut shotted, I deserve it. Just for the record. All right, let's not mess up the motoing. Burning wish in response. Crack for black. Crack for blue. Get my tendrils. You never got an email back from your submission. You should check um, your spam folder. You should check. You should check your spam unless it uh, unless it was a tier three submission, Maven. Tier three submissions, I just add to the queue a lot of the time. Usually, usually don't email confirmation for tier threes unless they're unacceptable. Howdy seven, welcome back. All right, this is gonna be, it's gonna be our last match with the, uh, it's gonna be our last match with the storm deck. We're currently four and zero. Oh. We got one more. We're gonna roll on into some pioneer after this. If you missed any of this set, it's been an absurd set of magic overall. Definitely worth going back to watch. It's gonna be one of the decks of the day today. Not close. Hey, Red Dolph, thanks for the year and a half. Hope the holidays and the new year, beginning prepping for the new year, are treating you well. One of the die roll, it's a good start. Um, I think I keep this, right? Just because Brainstorm's a messed up card. Go. All 
They're gonna upkeep wasteland me here. So do I do I even brainstorm in response here? I guess I could I could potentially kill them and I only have to redraw one of the cards. What are the odds defense grid is good? Actually, I probably just put back. Huh? There's a chance this defense grid's not good if they're playing death and taxes. But there's also like Delver. Delver plays Wasteland too, right? What if I, what if I shuffle, so I, I'm getting rid of one of these cards. I have to decide which one I'm getting rid of. I feel like I could give up a land. What if I give up a land and then I go land, Chrome Mox, imprint, write a plane, play defense grid? Thanks for the 17 months, Ostin. I think, I think that's the line. So I'm going to imprint both of, I'm going to put both of these back. I then draw defense grid. And then I can crack this fetch. And in fact, I'm going to go get a basic swamp with this, I think. So I, I, have, I have a land that's not wastelandable. If they're playing Death and Taxes, I feel a little bit bad about this line. But we're 4-0, so hopefully they're not playing Death and Taxes. City of Traitors. Oh, they're a Chalice deck. I think that was actually the first wasteland of the league. I don't know that we're super... I'm excited to get to see this matchup. Yeah, Chalice on 1 is less good against us than Chalice on 0 for sure. Yeah, we could definitely beat Chalice. We have uh, Pulverize here. This defense grade, notably, is not useful against a stomp uh, artifact deck. I think I just passed back here. Yep. Looks like Eldrazi. You thought not seared? Thought not, thought not seared puts us on a real clock. Okay. Huh? Do I just wheel? Who likes, who likes wheeling? I can, I can, the problem is it gives them a wish claw. They have five cards in their hand though, right? So I think, I think I just wheel. You think ad nauseum next turn is better? I mean, I'm down... I kind of feel like I'm supposed to just wheel. Like they have, they have five cards in their hand. So like, like I'm turning, I'm turning my, like they're going plus two, but I'm going plus seven here. So I have one, two, three, four mana. I'm one short of casting ad nauseum here. Right? I 
I should play all the zeros so they can't chalice me for zero. I have played a land. One, two, three, four. So I'm short short on Adnauseum here, pass. Yeah, we did we did get wasteland in this game. Human. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's gross. Why was Volk very good? Oh, I can pulverize now. That's why it's good. Got it. All right. So we just do this for six and hope we can oops our way into a win from here. It's going to be, it's going to be hard with Thalia, but... Uh, Pulverize isn't too bad, because I can float mana with the rest of these. You yeah, think I make red here? We're looking for Burning Wish, right? Oh, vomit. I believe we've died. Close. Close. All right, let's, let's get sideboarded. All right, prison. Echo, drawing the echo there hurt us a lot. So we cut Defense Grid and Veil of Summer. And we bring in Crash, Abrupt Decay, Echoing Truth, Chain of Vapor, Rite of Flame. Easy in, easy in, easy out. Well, well thought out sideboard plan. Yeah, it's rare that, like, someone ships me a sideboard guide and every time I look at a, a, a plan, I'm just like, yeah, that sounds good. It is It is the first time in five matches we've cut fail. Can I just keep this and wheel on one to make them mulligan? Is that legal? Yeah, I think I think we just keep and turn one wheel, right? I'm gonna concede to a ley line of the void if they do that. But I think turn one wheel give both of us random seven sounds great. I don't know if it's right, but it's definitely fun, so we're gonna do it. <laughs> I think there's a chance it's supposed to be right. I think there's a chance it's just like objectively correct to do so. But it's definitely the most fun play, so on the off chance it's not correct to do so, we're doing it anyways. So we cast... Oh, wait, wait, wait. This one I don't crack in response because I need to get... I need to discard this. Whew! Almost made an oopsie. All right. I'm a giver, have seven cards. Yikes! Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right so pedal brave
brainstorm. Pedal brainstorm. <laughs> you think I ponder first? I think I brainstorm first, right? Because I like have I have cards I don't mind getting rid of. P ponder gives me one more look at a land. So like ponder sees like 3.5 cards. I think I think we're supposed to brainstorm first because if I hit a non-fetch land, the ponder can then shuffle the brainstorm. Like if I hit like Volk or C. Brainstorm also has more upside if I hit a fetch too. I think I'm supposed to lead on Brainstorm. You see like slightly more cards. God bless America, my country. Wait, are they dead? Are they dead? Does the pedal and the rituals kill them? So this is five, six, seven, eight. I can, I can add nauseum this turn, right? Cause Wishclaw for ad nauseum is lethal. Is, uh, is eight mana. Okay, so they're not dead. No, they're not dead because Wish Claw for Burning Wish for Tendrils is nine. And I only I only have eight mana. I only have eight mana. So I'm on I'm one short of Wish Claw for Burning Wish for Tendrils. Alright. I've got I've got a lot of the math here committed to memory, which is great. It's getting it's getting easier knowing what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna wish claw for ad nauseum, and we're not gonna mess it up. Let's crack this for black in response. Hey, look, my opponent's got a permanent. So if we had if we had nine mana, we would have been deterministic there. But because we didn't have nine, we've got to YOLO it. So we're looking for a Rite of Flame here. Okay, Rite of Flame is now lethal. Chrome Mox lethal. Uh, yeah, okay, so Rite of Flame's lethal, right? Because I go, I go Fetch, Bulk, Rite of Flame for two, LED, LED, Burning Wish, Kill You. Right, that's lethal. We could have tried to kill them without playing a land. That's true. Didn't didn't go for the BM no land kill. Do you like how my opponent's only decision this game didn't matter? Their decision was how did they want a mulligan and we gave them a random seven afterwards. What is love, baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, we got to win a game on the draw now. We got we to gotta win a game on the draw. So that was, we lost game one. We got one more game here. Don't count your chicken chat. We can still 4-1. Run it back. All right. Run it back. Yeah, th this game is much harder on the draw because my opponent's deck, when they're on the play, they have a chance to Chalice and Thalia us. So, like, there's a good chance we get locked out without doing much here. Thopter Gifts. Thank you for the tier two. And any, any time. To be fair, Timor, I think this deck is better against Force of Will than it is against my opponent's deck. So I think I think this deck kind of devours the Force of Will decks. I would I would rather play against Force of Will decks than my opponent's prison deck. I think I keep this. I'm gonna take the four one. We've been playing for almost two hours. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the four one. Listen, game two, we had plenty of fun. We hit the we hit the four one all together. 
this deck's a total hoot. I I would play this one again. I might I might I might consider playing in an NRG one of the NRG Legacy tournaments if we if I could find cards for this. That was hilarious. This deck felt absurd. Wishclaw. I, I was like, when I was looking at this card and thinking about it versus Infernal Tutor, I was not expecting this card to be so much better than Infernal Tutor than it actually was. Like, kind of, kind of unreal how much better it was. That was, this deck felt like Charbelcher that didn't suck. Like, we had turn ones and turn twos, but we, like, also had play to it and could frequently beat the counterspell decks. I think the prison decks are probably tough. Like, we weren't guaranteed to lose that last game. Yeah, Twister, Echo, Echo of the Eons was absurd. This card, this card won us so many games. Like, where we were, like, super far down on cards, where it's like, all right, we'll get back in the game. So, like, Demonic Tutor, it, this card was good because it wasn't even three-mana Demonic Tutor. This card was often one-mana Demonic Tutor on combo turns because you'd, like, play Claw the turn before, and then you'd untap and get to Claw for one mana and then kill them with one-mana Tutor effectively. The fact that Wish Claw often let us bait counter spells too, where we're just like, all right, turn two, jam Wish Claw. They have to counter it, and then you kill them on three. Like, that's that's really really sweet. I had fun. Uh, we're gonna play Legacy again tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a fair deck in Legacy, something less offensive than this one. We beat four Force of Will decks, and we died to a Chalice of the Void deck. Like I said, from a theory perspective, while the Chalice decks can't interact with our turn one kill i do think on average the challenge the chalice matchups are harder for this deck than the than the force of will matchups are just because especially with our main deck grids and main deck veil of summers all right i'm gonna hit a quick ad roll so i can get set up for the next deck when we get back we're gonna play some boros feather and pioneer remember if you missed any of that legacy league it'll all be up on my youtube channel tonight be back in a few over float factor. Thanks for the brand new prime support. Welcome to Hoaglandia. Back, back in a couple, folks. That's a good time. That was a good time. To set to 